Hello everyone and welcome to today's Valentine's Day special where I'm going to be painting on these wooden hearts and this giant wooden heart too. It kind of looks like a praying mantis head, that's what my dad said and now I can't get it out of my mind, but let's see what we can create for these cute little Valentine's Day hearts. Let's start off with the big one first. So for this one, I really don't really have any ideas yet, but I know we need to get rid of this tag. So let's cut that off and now we can finally get started. I'm gonna take it one section at a time. That way it's not so overwhelming and I'm definitely going to be using pink and white and all of the Valentine's Day colors. So I'm just pouring it onto the heart cause you know, that's a really good method. And then I'm just painting this whole first section white. I also decided to paint the little in-betweens white. That way when it's hanging on a wall, you can't really see them and then I'm going in with the color pink next to finish off the first top section. I even painted the sides and top of the heart to really take it to the next level and that way you couldn't see any wood underneath. I decided to make the bottom section pink as well just to really tie it together and connect everything since I'm not really going to have a connecting seam throughout except for Valentine's Day. I really want the colors to connect it all and then I'm going in with this bright red for the middle section which is kind of a bold choice but super fitting for Valentine's Day and of course I'm going back and making corrections to everything that needs it. And and now it's time to go in with my design. So I decided that I would really take it all one section at a time and for this top section I'm just doing lines but the lines are kind of you know careless, carefree. I want them to look super just chill and like super artsy and like I purposefully painted it. I don't want them to look super neat and nice. I want them to be a little chaotic messy. So I added even more stripes in to make sure that I really got that. And then I wanted to add stripes in again to again tie it together. So I decided to do vertical stripes this time and just put them all the way down. And these ones were a little bit neater, but still kept that same kind of sketchy effect. Then for that red section, I thought to keep with that same theme, I would add in some pink little dots and do some finger painting for this section to make the dots various shades of intensity and now I'm going in with my Posca pen but the paint was still wet so I used it to make an outline of the word love but then I had to go in with real paint to finish out the word. I definitely relied very heavily on the color scheme to bring this one through because otherwise it's just a whole bunch of patterns and kind of messy but I think it works really well since they're all cutesy little valentines pink and red and I think it looks really cute together. Once I had finished getting the lettering done, I put a little heart next to the side just to add even more to it. And then I took a step back and I realized that it's not chaotic enough for my style. It's looking really cute, but I think I can elevate it even more. So I brought in this hot pink kind of Posca pen and decided to add in designs with it all over the heart. So I started by adding lines to the bottom and then I added little stars and dots to the red section of it just to fill it in more. I just felt like it really needed more. Like I'm just a kind of a chaotic art person. So I felt like to make it more my style, this was the perfect way to do that. And then I added even more hot pink stripes to the top. So now I had incorporated hot pink into every part of it except the love part. So I wanted to put it in there too. So I decided to add a little drop shadow to the lettering just to add that hot pink in there too. That way, like I said, the color scheme could keep it all unified. And I loved that I did this. I think it made the biggest difference and it definitely made it more my style. It's a lot more chaotic, but I like that a lot better. So here is how it turned out. I think it is super cute and I am in love with it. Even though it's all sectioned off, I think that worked really well and I used that to my advantage. But now let's move on to these little hearts here. This is what they look like. They're just wooden. We've got all the paint sets that come with it and these paint brushes. So let's see what we can create using these. So my idea right away was conversation hearts, of course, but I wanna do them with a little bit of a twist. So at first I tried to use the pink that came in the container, but then I decided we need a much more vibrant pink. So I brought in this very vibrant pink and covered the heart completely. Next up, I wanted the next heart to be green, so I colored it in. And finally, for the last one, I wanted it to be purple. So I even did the sides on these two, and then I gave them all one final coat just to make sure they were all really coated and very smooth and ready for the next step. So once they were dry, I could now go in with the lettering that is on on all of the classic conversation hearts. Do you even like the taste of conversation hearts? Let me know because 
I'm not the biggest fan, but I love how cute they are, so I kind of just eat them, even though I don't love the taste of them. But anyway, then once I had all of the lettering finished, it was time to move on to the next one. So this one I want to write XOXO, and then finally for the last one, I wanted to write something a little more cutesy, which was Be Mine, and this one was by far the most difficult to write out because I just did not center it very well at all. It kind of turned out poorly but I just went with it and tried my best to make it all work and now here is the twist there has been a trend going around in the cake world specifically where they turn 3d cakes into 2d looking objects so I really wanted to transform these 3d hearts into something that looks like 2d so I did this by adding a black line around the top and bottom of the heart and then going in and outlining the lettering in black and adding in special little white details to make it really look 2D instead of 3D and I really loved this effect so I decided to do it on all three of the conversation hearts just to make something a little bit different. You know I can't stop at basic, I have to take it to the next level so I felt like this was a perfect way to do that and really transform the conversation hearts into a work of art rather than just purple hearts with red letters or colored hearts with red letters. So I decided to do this and I think it turned out so cool and I think the effect really really showed through, not to mention it was extremely fun to do. So now I have another question for you. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? I love it. I think it's so cute and such a fun little holiday. I think you should love everyone all year round. However, I think Valentine's Day is just such a cute little day to do something special for one another and to be super intentional in how you're loving people around you. But let me know what you think about it. So for the flip side of these hearts, I also wanted to do something. So I wanted to do kind of like an X-ray and inverted color scheme on the back. So I wrote out the same things into the same type pattern, but kept it all in black and white just to make it a little unique and different. I just think this was a cool touch. That way, if they ever flip around or are standing on their sides, then they have a background too. And I love the combination of the black and white and the bright colors, but let me know what you think about that design. So here they are completed. I think they turned out so cute and I especially love the addition of the 2D effect on the 3D and I also loved how the big heart turned out too and now it looks nothing like a praying mantis face. But let me know what you think about these and comment down below if you like conversation hearts or not and whether or not you love Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!